uh, this video we will learn how to be um, um, a, crit a critique of a research uh, paper and I will let you know that what, what peer critique is and what is the purpose of uh, doing this peer, peer critique um, in your uh, research assignments. So once you will uh, be starting submitting me your uh, final research papers, the drafts I'll be receiving, I'll put you into peers. Um, and I will be, I'll be asking the two peers to do the peer cr critique for each other. Um, so uh, two class fellows will be working on each other's assignment and will be providing feedback on their assignments and on their methods, on their research quality and on their different parts of their research paper. Uh, so they, the, the, they will be providing feedback. They will also be giving some of the suggestions. So it's a quite complicated process because um, you need to learn this skill as well because um, in research, there's a lot of importance of peer critique at the same time you need to be courteous enough. So I'll be going through some of the guidelines and some of the, the steps that you need to follow for completing this assignment. Uh, and of course, this, it, it goes without saying that this assignment will help you a lot to improve your drafts. So number one, basic overview, format, typed or handwritten, but of course, this time you're going to type it because you will be uh, submitting it um, in um, through uh, online. So that's the reason in soft form. So that's the reason you need to uh, have it uh, in typed form. And you will be peer reviewing each other uh, on a given worksheet. I'll go through the worksheet in the later part of this presentation as well. The purpose is uh, to work with your peer on his or her draft of research paper. As I said earlier, your goal is to help them to peer review the content and organization. So in this process, you're not just helping them, but you are also helping yourself. Once you will be reviewing other person's paper, you will come to know probably this point of yours that you need to work on as well. So it's your own reflection at the same time, it's a kind of critique that you will be giving to the other person as well. So you need to follow these steps for being a, a peer critique for doing this assignment. First, read over each other's papers. Number one, number two, use the worksheet. Number three, be sure to explain why, why, why something needs to be improved. So why is very important. So it's not something which happened that you liked it, but let them know that why it needs to be improved. Number four, focus on things like content and organization before you worry about editing. So you need to worry about your content of your research paper and these organization the structure of it number five make sure you can identify the key, key players their arguments the terminology of the controversy a relevant history a clear status quo and easy to follow main ideas i repeat make sure that you able to identify the key players these key players are the stakeholders their arguments the terminology of the controversy a relevant history, a clear status quo, and easy to follow main ideas. Number six, make sure to highlight two or three things you think your partner has done well. Make sure to highlight two or three things that you think your partner could have improved. Number eight, make sure you make sure you offer actual suggestions for revision not just this needs improvement, but how this needs improvement and why this needs improvement. Notice on giving and receiving feedback, be courteous and fair. Receive criticism graciously, do not get a defensive, do not get be offensive even. Everyone, um, even the best writers can benefit from peer review and revision. So this is the worksheet that I was referring towards. You need to write your name, you need to write your partner's name and when it comes to introduction you need to let your um, uh, peer know about that is your introduction is an attention getter is it successful if it is then how does it have a clear one sentence thesis introducing the purpose of this paper if so what it is does it have a clear purview that shows readers the organization of the paper if yes then how and what it is the body, 
Are the arguments clear and organized and arranged in an effective manner? Any suggestions for improvement? Are there clear transitions between points? If not, point out where your partner needs to be needs to be in transitions to add transitions. Number three, does each paragraph have a clear topic sentence? If so, which one needs uh, which need work? How effective is the organization and development of the logical order and development of the thesis? How they can improve? Do you feel informed about the history of your peers controversy? Is there other information the audience would need to understand the controversy better? Do you understand the status quo of your peers controversy? If so, what is the current status of status quo? Summarize it for your peer. Who are the key players in the controversy? Name them. Does the author adequately define key terms for the reader? Are there any places where you can suggest improvements? In conclusion part of, the, of your peer review and of the research paper, you will ask these two questions. Does the conclusion recap the thesis and main points? Does the conclusion have a summarizing statement or a so what answer? And on the actual research, you will ask these questions. What types of sources has the author already consulted and included? Do you have recommendation for types of sources, information or evidence you would like to see? In terms of style of the research paper, you need to ask and you need to answer, does the author use unbiased, neutral language throughout the essay? Use a reporter's voice, neutral tone? Are there places the author could be more objective? Does the author add in his or her own opinion. Are the sentences concise and easy to follow? Number three, does the essay flow logically in an easy to follow manner? Number four, is the paper free of grammatical spelling and typographical errors? Make errors on, mark errors on the essay and return it to your peer. And that's it pretty much from my side. I'll, I have already uploaded um, the worksheet on the Moodle. So uh, you can download that worksheet from Moodle and you can, uh, once you receive your peers draft, you can start giving them um, the, uh, your feedback. You start documenting your feedback. I'll be starting putting you into peer, uh, into peer work, uh, into this uh, peer critique assignments once I'll start uh, getting their final research papers. So that will be probably by the end of, uh, in the middle of May or by the end of end of the month, end of the next month. So you need to bear with me for that and you need to wait for to complete this assignment. So thank you very much.